it's like 1 p.m. here. I'm gonna do some prep work for food that I'm gonna have at Sehri time. Um, because it's chicken, I wanna marinate it. So I want it to have a good few hours where it can sit in the marination. So I'm gonna quickly make the marinade. Is that the right word? So I've just got an empty box. I've cleaned the chicken, washed it, cut it, so it's ready to just go straight in. I'm using lemon because anything citrusy, I live for it. Like I love lemon. So I'm just gonna squeeze a bit of lemon juice in there. A fair bit though, because like I said, oh, I've got a little pip in there. Right, I've got a fair bit of lemon juice in there, kind of. Yes, no, yes. Um, I'm also going to put a tad bit of salt, not too much. Love garlic, love garlic with a passion. Gonna put a bit of that in there. That was a fair bit actually. Right, I'm using some peri peri spices. I have to just check what that was then. Yes. Boom. This you could just put however much you want, and it depends how much of a taste you want. I like mine quite tasty. So I'll put a fair bit in. Next, chili. It's literally, it's so easy. It's like four or five ingredients. But it's so tasty. A bit of chilli in. It's not very spicy, that one. Right, I'm going to put the chicken in now. So there's my marinade. You're probably thinking that looks awful. It doesn't look too bad once it's all mixed in with the... Yeah, I'll show you. Okay, all the chicken's in there. I just need to mix it with the marinade now. This is what it looks like. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? it smells amazing. It smells actually really, really good. The hardest thing I find when I'm doing something like this is not being able to taste the marinade before I put the chicken in. So I've just kind of done it on an estimation. I've made this a few times, and so I've got a rough idea of how much to put in, but you can still sometimes get it wrong, can't you? I'm gonna leave this to marinate in the fridge. I'm gonna um, stab the chicken a bit though. That sounded a bit violent. Like just pierce a few holes in it with a fork. So the flavoring all goes in right i'm gonna cover it up i'm gonna put it in the fridge and it's gonna sit like that for a good few hours now and in the morning we're actually gonna coat it with breadcrumbs so we're gonna make like crispy sort of chicken i'm gonna show you we'll make it together chef taz will be making an appearance it's taken me like what six seven minutes maybe even less Woo! prep work done ready to sit in the fridge and um, it's gonna sit like that for a good few hours and I will see you guys in a few hours. Good morning and welcome to Cooking Class 101 with myself, Chef Taz. Goodness me, I haven't done that in a while. Okay, it's the early hours of the morning and I'm feeling actually quite tired today, I'm not gonna lie. Feeling sleepy, I really, really am. Um, so I'm really, really glad that I did the prep work earlier on in the day. Here's my chicken. Today we're gonna make fried chicken. There's a chicken that I marinated earlier on. It smells amazing. I've cracked an egg whisked it you need to make sure that the egg is actually like fully whisked because last time i didn't whisk it properly and when i was dipping the chicken into it the entire egg was coming with it, it was weird so just make sure it's fully whisked and it's smooth the idea is we get the chicken dip it in the egg and then on this plate i'm going to sprinkle this and the idea is the chicken will look like that except that's not chicken leg I've just got chicken pieces. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. We're gonna see how we get on. Hopefully it'll be, um, hopefully it'll go well. I haven't tasted the marination. Obviously I was fasting. I've just kind of roughly thrown the seasoning in and just, we'll see how it turns out. We'll see how it turns out. Um, I really need to make a start on the food because I'm just wasting time and I'm already tired as is. So my first piece of chicken is ready. Um, I'm just heating up the oil. Last time what I did was, I had the oil on like the highest one, 
Just checking, I think that's done now, you know, guys. First what I did is I started heating up the oil. When I put the chicken in, you're actually meant to put the temperature down, and I didn't do that. I forgot completely. Left it on high, set the fire alarm off, didn't I? I was running around at 2 o'clock in the morning. It wasn't funny. I don't have much luck with fire alarms, as you've noticed. So, this is what it looks like at the moment. That's going to go into there. That's pretty hot. I think it's ready. And that is a homemade chicken burger. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thank you for joining myself, Chef Taz, and I will see you guys real soon. Okay, all the messing aside, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my drink. I'm gonna enjoy my food. I will catch you guys real soon. Hope the fast goes well for you guys as well. And uh, yeah, keep it locked. This is me and Chef Taz signing out, even though we're the same person. Bye.